Hi everybody, I'm Shane. Today we're going to be using our 8 inch high flow wood chipper on a Bobcat T750. This wood chipper weighs about 1500 pounds and can handle flow rates between 25 and 40 gallons per minute. The T750 puts out about 37 gallons per minute. The way this unit works is it has an inlet drive that pulls the wood towards the chipping disc. There's a large flywheel with four uh, cutting edges on it that spins at a high rate of speed and that uh, chips and blows the chips up and out the chute. The chute is directional so you can manually rotate that whichever direction you want to blow the chips uh, to put them in a safe location. Safety is very important when using wood chipper. Um, first of all you want to start off by using the right equipment. You want to wear safety glasses and hearing protection. A uh, good set of gloves is a good idea. You want to always be in a safe position when, when loading the wood chipper uh, so that it doesn't grab you and try to pull you in. The uh, drive, the inlet drive, is operated by this orange handle. And it has four positions. So at either end of the stroke is a reverse operation. So whether it's here or here, it'll reverse and kick out whatever wood is in the chute throat here. Uh, the second position is forward, so that would be drive or pushing the wood towards the chipper. And the third position is a neutral position. So this is set up like this, like most wood chippers, so that if you have a panic and you need to stop or uh, reverse the drive, it's easy to do that either by pushing or pulling, and you'll back the wood back out of the chute. The wood chipper also has a flow control valve located down on the frame which you can use to adjust the ratio of speed between the chipping disc and the inlet drive. And so we'll be experimenting with that a little bit today. I think you would be adjusting that depending on the type and size of wood that you're running. The frame is also equipped with two mounting plates. We currently have it mounted to the far side mounting plate and this is a good position for loading it and carrying it on trailer. The frame also has a mounting plate on this side which allows you to reposition the chipper depending on uh, the area that you're in or if you're in tight quarters you can have the bobcat on a 90 degree direction from the chipping wood that you're bringing in. Also from the cab you need to understand that uh, in the case of a bobcat you have to push the traction lock override button that allows you to run hydraulic attachments without having the arm bar down and you can be out of the cab. Um, so that is another thing you have to keep in mind when using a wood chipper. Also, the main drive for the wood chipper disc itself is a gear motor, and gear motors require a case drain, so this unit does have a case drain as well.
Okay, so we just got done chipping up some English buckthorn. I wanted to show you what the chips look like when they come out. It's a very fine chip. So this is going to decompose very quickly. Okay, so we just got done chipping up some softwood and some English buckthorn. Uh, we went up to eight inches with the softwood. You can see when we fed in the larger pieces of wood that the inlet would pause momentarily to let the chipping wheel catch up. And that's a really nice feature so that it's uh, user friendly. You don't have to uh, do the reversing or anything. It just does that all on its own. So as the chipping wheel depletes and loses speed and energy, the inlet drive will actually pause and allow it to catch up before continuing. With the English buckthorn here, I thought we could uh, try to plug this thing up. Uh, English buckthorn is a really tough wood. Uh, at the end there, I put in a whole chunk of it, uh, many different pieces all at once, but it powered right through it. So I was really impressed with the power that it had and the ability to keep it from plugging. Well, thanks for joining us for this chipping video. Hope you enjoyed it. Be sure to check back as we continue to make more videos. And be sure to give us a call or check out our website if you have any other questions.